Welcome back. So starting out the week, a um, little bit more work on the pilot side door. So this is um, trimming the actual frame that holds the acrylic window in place. And right now you can see it's just running the quarter inch bit and trimming the inside of that frame. So there's a bunch of different things to do with this door and it turns out, you know, I designed it the way I designed it, but it takes quite a, a long time to do all these different things. I mean, trying to figure out the most uh, optimum way, but anyway, it's progressing. And here is that frame now completely trimmed and a little bit of handwork done on there as well. And you can see there now that the carbon fiber um, on that new frame stretches all the way from top to bottom. So you'll see that through the acrylic uh, glass when that's bonded on there. So that one uh, came out nicely. And I also trimmed the uh, upper edge of the bottom door skin as well, but that's uh, not on here right now. And switching back to the outer door frames, here are those um, pressure intensifier blocks and uh, Jeff's sort of laid those up and put down a layer um, or yeah, one layer of uh, glass on them as well so waiting for those to cure so we can pop them out um, and then obviously trim them off sand them up and uh, then we'll be ready to lay up that door frame or at least both of those door frames which is really kind of the last part to being able to uh, bond all the fuselage together which is a bit of a milestone uh, heading our way And these are the door skin strakes that got laid up again. So Devin did those uh, yesterday afternoon. So they just need a little bit more time um, to uh, harden. And then uh, I guess Jeff will be releasing them from the mold probably tomorrow. So you'll see them at the end of the week. So I got most of the stuff done on the left hand door that I need to get done for trimming. And so now I've got it set in place on the fuselage and just sort of clamp there. And I got my little jig that I created um, for drilling the holes in the hinge pockets and uh, ready to do that. And now you can see this is after the fact so I drilled the four holes the same as I did the ones on the other side and they came out nicely and all aligned and you can see how it looks from the inside. So in there goes these uh, stainless steel bushings and then obviously they get bonded into place and then we have a, a uh, bolt that goes through there and holds the door in place. And here you can see I've got a couple of half inch drill bits actually sort of working as the bushings for me. You can see one of them there. And, um, and then there's the other one there. And so now the door is basically operating on the hinge there. Obviously it's sitting against the jig so it won't close fully because of the way I designed the jig. Kind of an oversight really. I should have made it so you could close and open the doors and the jig. Anyway, you can see the door opens up there nicely and uh, closes nicely on the action there. So next step is to sort of keep going along with the door and getting the the lock things sorted out and then we can sort of put the skins and the windows and stuff in and, and complete the doors but uh, that's not actually going to stop us from um, bonding the fuselage together we just want to make sure the doors fit and align nicely and they do so uh, that's another step you know forward with getting the fuselage ready to bond all the pieces together Okay, so more progress on some of the plugs that are still outstanding there. And this is the um, the left side uh, lower strake skin there. So that one you saw, I think, last time. So that's got its final coat of uh, primer on there. And that'll just uh, get another sanding and then wax and will be ready to pull the mold. And Roberto and Chris are in again this afternoon. So here you can see they're just putting some braces there, which sort of double as a stand for uh, that uh, mold that they finished off uh, there the other week the ones with all the ribs and this is the second of the lower wing skin um, plugs so this one Jeff just primed this one again today that's the second coat of primer so that'll get a quick uh, sanding and then uh, straight on to waxing so that one will be ready soon for a mold and yesterday afternoon I picked up a bunch of these little parts from uh, the laser cutter um, that's across the highway from us and so these are some of those components for the door hook locks and as you can see those two kind of uh, linkages there sit together like that and then there's a rectangle piece that sort of is at kind of acts as a stopper and that'll be uh, TIG welded in place and that makes up one of the linkages of the two different linkages that are inside of the uh, hook box um, lock and so you'll see more of that as we start putting that together in the coming weeks. 
And there are a bunch of off-the-shelf components also that um, make up the lock. So there were some cotter pins there and some clevis pins, and those are some um, bushings. And then these are the two little bolts that hold the uh, door handles onto the shafts that we actually don't have yet. So anyway, just to show you, there's more stuff coming in. And these are the stainless steel bushings uh, that we sort of created just for, for some rod. We had the laser cutter guys do this for us. So it was just um, stainless steel um, rod there that's uh, drilled out and that's half inch with a 5 16 inch hole and so a four inch piece in the middle and then a half inch on either side and that makes up um, the pieces for the door hinges and lastly uh, i spent some time this afternoon and um, just fit fitting uh, more of the parts of the um, fuselage together more cleanly and starting to sand the flanges that need to be bonded and just basically heading in the direction of getting this more prepped for bonding so that'll be ongoing anyway it's starting to look good and everything's fitting together super nicely so that's our update for the first half of this week and thanks again for watching